Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here. I hope you have a great day because today is part four of making the Roman Gladius. Thanks for joining us. In the project today is going to be working down this tang, getting this tang to where it needs to be so that we can start working on the guard, on the handle and on the pommel. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, things are going fantastically here. Hope things are going great with you. Right now, I've just rounded off the ends so that the end mill, when we make the slot, will make it work. And I'm also convexing up the tang here so that we don't have any interference as the guard gets slipped on here and as it reaches up the blade. Things are going well. I can now, I think that's pretty close. We can turn off the grinder. We're going to leave the grinding room and we are going to do some hand filing to make sure this is square and get this all neat. That is some good fun. Sam is here. How are you, Sam? Very good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing very well. What are you up to? What's that? This lovely, lovely hammer. It's three and a half pound square circle hammer. It's off to Press Tube. Press Tube is a YouTube video maker and he contacted me. He wants, he's going to take this hammer and he is going to cast it in a non-ferrous metal. So he's going to make a great video about that. That's going to be very exciting. So I can't wait to see what you get up to, Press Tube. <laughs> So I've got these plates up here mounted to it and I'm using this as a way of eyeballing where it is they need to go. Obviously I often use a file guide like this with carbide inserts on it. Well I don't have enough width available on this file guide for me to use it. So instead we're using these plates which is working well and allowing me just to eyeball it. I'm not working up to the plates because it would uh, wear them away because it's, it's steel, it's not carbide. And we're just working up to it and trying to even everything off, make everything square and level and neat. Really putting a lot of time and effort in there, making sure they get a nice radius, radius transition into the tank so we don't create a stress riser. We're all done. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we've now got to do is we've got to think about the guard, the handle, and the pommel on this Roman Gladius. The guard, the handle, and the pommel are all going to be wood. We've got some really interesting woods to play with that I bought a few weeks ago. You might have remembered from a previous episode. And I think that we also want to use some copper, which is going to be some nice accenting to it all. And now it is time to take out the whiteboard marker. And I'm going to start sketching and thinking about the design. <music> Okay, so after much deliberation, here is what we have come to. I've gone through this entire set of designs and I like this one best. This would be a more kind of traditional Roman design, but I think that we can add our own twist to it. And that's what we're gonna do here. In terms of the material that we're gonna be using, I had a good think and I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna be using this, which is pa Paduk, Padak, Paduk. Powdak, something like that, but we're gonna be using this for the guard and for the pommel and for the handle We're gonna be using a piece of African blackwood I think the contrasting colors are gonna make this really really nice and make this combination of woods really really something special in terms of the copper accents I think what we're gonna be doing is putting a copper plate on the back of the pommel Then I'm taking a lot of inspiration from a very talented knife maker on Instagram that I saw called Hatcher Knives Unbelievable work he does he made a gladius and I'm seeing the incredible things he did there especially with the copper accents taking a lot of inspiration from that. And what I'm going to try and do, similarly to what he did, is pin the tang 
onto the copper accent as a way of best securing the pommel, the handle and the guard together. Okali dokali, so that is a piece of African blackwood that we've squared up. We've squared up all this padauk, paduk, whatever it is, and just look at how beautiful all this stuff is. That wood is just stunning. It's got a beautiful, beautiful grain to it. I'm really excited to see how this goes on the guard of the piece. In other news, check out the mount that I have here. I had my camera mounted up here, and this is, so, this is the craziest thing I have ever seen. This mount came in just the other day. I've been using it in the grinding room. You can set whatever it is that you want, and then you lock it off. Guys, technology is insane. That's crazy. It's completely crazy. In other news, we've got Sam. Do we have some amazing collaborations coming up or what? We do indeed. Guys. Don't look at the screen. I'm just sorting out the flights. We've got some crazy things coming up soon. I'd love to hear who you think we're collaborating with. I'd also love for you guys to have any, if you've got suggestions as to who it is that you want us to collaborate with, we would love to hear them. We've got great things coming up. I'm excited. Are you excited, Sam? Like, I can't believe they're not all with me. Sam's been here all day today. He's done a great job helping us, helping us crack on. He cleaned the lathe. He made some boxes. He cleaned the grinding. Sam, show them this. Sam, I, I have every right to be grateful here because look at what he did. Ta-da! Oh, a lot of you guys have been asking about the belt grinders. When are they going to be landing roughly? End of this month? Don't ask me. He don't know. End of this month. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a guess. End of this month. So there'll be there'll be details in the next few weeks about the belt grinders. But I'm excited because when they land, I'm gonna keep one for myself because I'm then gonna have another belt grinder in here so that I can have belt grinders with different grit set up so you can easily go from one to the other and also so that when we work on kind of collaborations and if Sam is also helping, then he can kind of drop drop jump blah, blah, jump on the other while while really everything's going. Projects. If you make a Damascus broom handle. Exactly, then you can go from one grinder to the other. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm leaving these pieces to continue working on tomorrow here at the workshop. Sam, have you been seeing the t-shirt oh, entrance? It's pretty it's epic. Good. It's good. It, is, it has been exciting. Yeah, I, someone has messaged me one. He's not sending it to you because he's not finished it yet. But it's pretty special, so it's going to have to pull all the stops out to make this work. You guys might know what this is. Let me explain. For the August t-shirts, we rate blah, blah, blah. We opened up a competition so that once you got the August t-shirt, you post a photo on Instagram, you use hashtag Alex Steel, and then we're going to pick like the coolest photo, the most engaging set of photos, the people that have put the most into it. And let me tell you guys, there are people that have put a lot into it, right? We'll pick in the middle of the month. So we're going to give it a couple more weeks before we pick the winner. Yep. It's going to be exciting. We'll all pick together. All three of us will try and find the best person. But again, if you guys have an August t-shirt and you want to enter, that's hashtag Alex Steele on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Alex Steele, and you should follow that. We're almost at 50,000 50, followers on Instagram. All right, Sam, you have a great one. Can't wait to see you guys' t-shirt entries. I'll see you tomorrow on the next episode. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like. Make sure you hit subscribe so we can see you tomorrow as we continue this gladius. Have a fantastic day. And of course, 
I'll see you soon.